Hey guys, a lot of people have been asking me whether you can use the Sidewinder Precision Racing Wheel with Windows 10. Now you can, but you need to do some calibration first and then you need to set up the controls in your game, but you can get it working. So this is for a response for all the people that watch my review video and have asked the same question. So hopefully this video helps you. I'm just gonna quickly show you. So I've got Grid 2 playing because I've got a demo and it was free. I'm boot camping my Mac Pro here, so that's why I've got Windows 10 working on a Mac. I've got the, the wheel in here. I'll just quickly show you. I've got the pedals under the desk, so I'm just gonna push on the right pedal. And you can see there that I've already crashed the car, so it's, uh, it's drifting to the left a little bit. So <laughs> but you can see that the wheel is working. And there you go, I've crashed because I am terrible at this game. But let me show you how to get it working. Okay, so here we are, Windows 10. Boot camped onto my MacBook Pro. So initially when I went in here, I thought maybe I'd go to the settings um, page. I thought maybe the device would be listed in here, but it's, uh, it's not. If you go to gaming, it's not under there. The easiest way, to find it is to go to control panel and you open up the old school control panel, go to hardware and sound, devices and printers, and there you can see the Sidewinder Precision Racing wheel come up. So as soon as you plugged it in, it detects it and see game controller settings, click on there, you can see it here, then click on properties and you're finally into the calibration window. So here, this is where you can go Go back to the settings tab, click on calibrate, brings up a wizard, and there you go. So the first screen, just leave, find the center point. Then the second screen, you do the X axis, which is left and right on the controller, and then up and down on the right pedal, which gives you the Y axis, which is interesting. The left pedal doesn't do anything on this screen. Then on the next, again, go back to the center point, press a button, and then on this tab, or this page of the wizard, it asks you for the Z rotation. So obviously it's picking up the pedals, the right pedal for the Y axis and the left pedal for Z. So this is where if you push the left pedal, which would be your brake pedal, and that's what does the Z rotation. And then you finish, and that's it. Your, your wheel is now calibrated within Windows, and then you need to go into your game and set the buttons correctly there. And that's really important because of that strange Z rotation of the left pedal, you need to set that up as you, as you brake and you need to set up the, the right pedal for your accelerator and obviously the steering left and right, but then it should work. Now, here we are in the game. Now, what you just need to do is, I guess for all games, go into the options, go into the controls, make sure that you've got um, it set up. So for here, you can see that um, I'm going to pick the direct input device, which is obviously the, the uh, steering wheel. And that you need to then go through, because it, the way that it's calibrated it, you're going to have to just go through and set up all the calibration. So the acceleration, you can see there, that says the down on the Y axis is picked up for acceleration when I push the uh, pedal. And for the brake and reverse with the left pedal, so it's picked up inverse Z axis rotation. So there you go, so you've got to make sure that you've configured it in the game, you've calibrated it as well in Windows, and then the wheel should work for you, or at least it's working for me. So hopefully this has helped you. Try it out on your games, try it out uh, on your copy of Windows 10, see how you go, and tell me if it works.